and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new so as you guys can see from the title of this video I'm bringing you guys a Dollar Tree haul so this haul is from like two or three trips to the Dollar Tree so the main theme of this haul is I've been trying to get back into journaling like I do bullet journaling, I scrapbook, I junk journal, things like that. So I picked up a lot of like stationary things that I wanted to use for my journal, mainly stickers. I'm like obsessed with stickers just a little bit. So I picked up a lot of stationary stuff, but I do have a few things that are non-stationary. So I'm going to show you guys that stuff first and then we will get to the stationary stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with this haul. Okay, so the first two things that I want to show you guys, I got these two little vases here. These were like in the like garden section, I guess you could say. Um, I picked these up. They had multiple colors of these. So they had this green color here and they had this purple. They also had like a, like a hot pink and a yellow. So I picked up these two colors because I thought I could use these for something for Halloween, yes, I am already thinking about Halloween. Yes, I know it's July, but if they're putting out Halloween in the stores, I can start thinking about how to decorate my house, just saying. But I picked these up specifically for some kind of Halloween decoration. I don't know exactly what I wanna do with them yet, but I thought the colors were perfect. I wish the yellow one was an orange, but it wasn't, <laughs> it was yellow. Uh, if it had been orange, I would've picked that one up too because those are like my three main colors for Halloween besides black. Um, but yeah, so I picked up these two. You guys will probably see it in a later video how I use them, but yeah, I got these. I also like to look at their like candles and wax melts just to see what different scents they have. And I found this wax melt scent. This is in Night Jasmine. I've never seen this one before, um, but this is what it looks like like beauty guru over here <laughs> um this is what this one looks like and it smells so good oh, it smells so good it kind of smells like it smells like clean if that makes sense like it smells clean like florally clean <laughs> i i hope i hope me describing that makes sense if you if you if you know you know you know okay moving on <laughs> Okay, so I also love to look at their sock section because sometimes I get lucky and find a character sock and it's only $1.25, so I'm kind of obsessed with like cutesy socks. So I picked up these socks here and they have Minnie Mouse on them and I, I love Minnie Mouse. I love these. I thought they were so cute. These are a little, um, they might fit me. They might be a little big. I have really small feet, you guys. I wear kid sizes, so... These are for a size four to 10, so they might be a little big on my foot, but I have these and I, I just think they're cute. They're Minnie Mouse. You can't go wrong with Minnie Mouse. So yeah, I got those. Then also, so recently I just got a new car. So I've been trying to get stuff to put in my car just to like, you know, have little, you know, handy things to put in your car. Put in your car. Say put in your car one more time. Uh, but I picked up some wipes. So I do have some Lysol wipes, like a mini packet of Lysol wipes in my car. But I wanted just like some regular wipes too. So I ended up getting these fragrance-free baby wipes. I know they're baby wipes, but they're wipes. So you can use them for anything. And it's just the Huggies brand. And it has Mickey Mouse on it. And clearly I like Mickey Mouse and Minnie. So I got these. Just It's just a small little pack for me to put in like the middle console. So I got these. Okay, literally everything else that I picked up is stationary. I don't even know where to start. I think I'll start... Um, I don't even know. We're just going to grab and go. So what I've been doing... So I don't know if you guys watch her. She's like the Dollar Tree Queen. It's Crafty Girl Marie from Crafty Girl. Um, she literally does like a Dollar Tree haul every other day and she does junk journaling and she always shows things that she finds that she's like, you can use this in a journal. This would be great in a junk journal, you know, that kind of thing. So I was like, okay, let me walk around Dollar Tree and see what inspires me, what I think I would use for a junk journal. So I picked up some things with that and I will show you what I picked up because I feel like they're, I feel like they're pretty good. Okay, so the first things that I want to show you guys, I picked up these two notepads and I thought these would be perfect as like layering in a junk journal or just any journal in general. So this first one here is just straight white paper. 
um, and you get 150 sheets on this one. They're not sticky, so you would have to use like glue or like tape or something like that, but um, it's just like a sheet of paper that you can use for layering. So I got this one in white, and then this one is multicolored. It's like a rainbow color here, and then on this one you get 100 sheets. It kind of sucks that you get less in the color than in a white, but I guess they're like, probably you'll probably use white paper more than the color paper. I don't know. I don't know, but... They have these two. I thought this was a super good deal. And it's a lot of sheets that you can use. So I really like that. Okay, this I have never seen before in Dollar Tree. And I always look. So I always look through their notebooks. I use a bullet journal personally. And I've never seen a bullet journal at uh, Dollar Tree. And I just happened upon this one. It was literally the only one I found in the section. It was kind of messed up a little bit. It's kind of bent. The sticker's a little weird. But... I figured I could use this sometimes, you know, when you're using your journal and you mess up, you need to cover it up. So I figured this could be really good as like filler paper, like scrap paper to use, like to cut out stuff. So I, oh, y'all look at this, the, the cover is coming off in my head. I feel like this was a return or something, but I don't think you can return stuff at Dollar Tree. I don't know. I specifically got it for like scrap paper. So I don't care that the cover's coming off of it, um, but as you guys can see, I hope you guys can see it, but it's a dot, it's a dotted grid, so it's like a bullet journal, but again, I just got it for scrap paper. It is a cute cover, but it's coming off, so what good does that do? I don't know. <laughs> okay, there is one more thing in here that I got that's not for stationery. I, it was mixed up in here, um, but they have these like little recipe books that I found in the book section. I only picked up one, but they have multiple of them. Um, and I picked up this one. It's for air fryers because I literally live by my air fryer. I actually have two because I use them that much. Me and my husband, like, we love our air fryers. Um, so I picked this up and it just has different air fryer recipes that you can use. Um, but they did have other books and it shows you all the books here on the back if you guys can see them. I know in my store I saw, I saw the keto one. I saw the vegan one. The air fryer one, of course, and I think I saw the pasta and vegetable one. So they, they have multiple, but they didn't have all of them in my store. Um, but I just thought this was a nice, you know, cute little book. It's not a big recipe book, but it's enough to, you know, look through, get some ideas on some stuff. So I picked that up. Okay, so next I bought a bunch of like notepads that had like different designs on them that I thought were super cute. Um, so I got this one here. And this one says, be proud of your progress. And it's a notepad. And I love that this one is uh, more horizontal and not like a vertical notepad. I thought that was super cute. So I picked up this one. It's kind of hard to see. There's a glare. But it's this one. It's like purple. And it's kind of metallic-y too. So this purple is kind of metallic. But I really like that one. Let me open it and see. Because I don't even know what it actually looks like. That's just the cover of the notepad. Um... <gasps> You guys, oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, so it has to my Monday self, love my Friday self. So you can like write a note to yourself. And then it has remember, and then I'm doing great in today's mood. And these are all perforated, per perforated, that's the word, right? And so you can like separate the sections, but that is so cute, you guys, look at that even cuter than the cover. All right, that was perfect, okay. So I also found some other ones in that same section. It was like a whole whole group of them. So I got this one here and it says, get it done and it's green and you can tell it's like kind of metallic -y. Let's open this one and see what this one looks like. And again, I love the horizontalness of this. I think that's perfect on these. Um, this one, oh, this one's cute too. Okay, so this one says, goals on the side and it says weekly monthly savings and career so if you want to write some goals down this is what this one looks like love that and i thought this one was so cute i got two of them i'm gonna give this one to my mom see if she wants it so mom i know you're probably watching this this one's for you <laughs> Okay, I also found this set of notepads here, and this one is kind of like a island. I want to say like an island theme, but there's only like two little leaves on it. But you get this big one here, this smaller one, and this smaller one. This one says wishes, and this one says dreams. I just thought that was cute. 
This one I absolutely love and I think it goes well with those horizontal ones that I picked up. So this one says, love this life to do. And then the bottom one has like a little cherry stem on it. So I thought that one was super cute. I love the color. I love how colorful these are. So cute. And then I found this magnetic list pad that looks like this last set that I picked up and it's it's the same colors and this one says for the love of lists and I am a qu the queen of lists like I can't do anything without making a to-do list so I love this thought this was super cute and again these so like this is magnetic usually people put these like on their refrigerators for like a grocery list but I thought this would be perfect in a uh, in a journal you can take a sheet off glue it in and you know write whatever list you want to on there and, and, and it's cute it's like decorative so got that okay to go along with my journaling I want to start like using stamps in my journals so I've been picking up stamps here and there and they have like stamps like stamp what what they have a, like stamp collection kind of thing that's not the word I'm looking for whatever okay so they sell clear stamps at Dollar Tree <laughs> and I wanted to pick a few of them up I like the little designs that they had so I picked up two packets of stamps so this first one here is like a butterfly theme so it has all of these and then it has I think that says amazing yeah it says amazing and enjoy the little things I just thought that was super cute And I also picked up this one here and it's like a love, I guess a love theme. So it has all of these. This would be like perfect for like a Valentine's Day spread. And that that was super cute. Also, like I said, I do want to start scrapbooking again. And I do have a scrapbook um, that my mom bought me that's for like wedding themes. So I, I need to put that one together. And I think this would be perfect to use in that. So yeah, this I just this is just so cute. I love these. Okay, so remember I said that Marie from Crafty Girls, she says that, you know, she finds things that she's like, oh, this would be perfect in a journal. So again, I was walking around looking for things for inspiration and I came across the gift bag section and they have a lot, a lot of gift bags with very cute designs. And I picked up a few of my favorite that I figured I, I could see myself using in my journal. So let me show you. Um, so this one here is this floral piece. And I think this is absolutely beautiful. I actually watched a girl um, do one of her journal spreads and she did like a cover page with some like floral print like this. And w as soon as I saw this, I thought of her. So I was like, okay, I need to get this bag. Um, but if you see here, the front, the front of the bag is like glittery, um, which the glitter doesn't really come off. It's not really coming off like most Dollar Tree glitter stuff does. Um, but it is glittery and very shiny and I thought that was super cute. But also the back is still florally too. And I still love that design too. I think it's so cute. Very pretty. I'm not usually that big on floral stuff, but I guess the older I've gotten, I'm like, oh, floral's cute. Oh, I didn't look at the sides. She always looks at the sides like later. Okay, so the sides also have, so you have a lot of material to work with with these bags, so that's good to know. Like you can use this on multiple pages and you can like individually cut out the flowers if you want to, you know, there's so many ideas, so many ideas. Okay, these next four all, I guess, were like an, a theme that came together and so I picked up every, every one of them that I saw because that's just who I am. Uh, but it is these bags here. So they're mainly white and then they have these like metallic rainbow shapes on them. So this one here has like little diamonds on them. And I love how this one looks. And it also came in stars and I love stars. So there's this design. And then it also came in triangles. So I got the triangle one. And then of course it also came in hearts so I got it in hearts too and these I think would just be perfect like in the background to make a theme in your journal it's also on the sides oh. it's <laughs> on the sides of the bag in the back and I love the back is also metallic too so it's all shiny plenty of material to use in your journals 
it did good okay I had some great inspiration with these things all right the next thing that I picked up so I got these specifically for sticker storage like I said I I have a lot of stickers I love stickers um and so I feel like I don't know that if this is necessarily going to work for all the stickers that I have. It's probably not. The boxes are kind of small, I'm realizing. But I also have an obsession with pins, and this would be perfect for pins. So I picked up these boxes here. Do you guys remember, if you if you were a 90s kid, oh, what was the name of the brand? Peacemaker? Spacemaker? I think it was Spacemaker. If I can find a picture, I will insert it here. But you know, the like pencil boxes that we all had in elementary school that held all your stuff. I was obsessed with those. So I found these and this went along. They have their back to school stuff out at Dollar Tree right now. And the new theme that they have going is like these like pastel colors. It's like a pink, a purple, a mint, and a gray, I want to say. I'll insert a picture. I took a picture of some stuff. Um, and I just thought the colors were so cute. Um, but they had these boxes in the back to school section. So I got one in clear. And these are like really, really pale. So you can't really tell. So I'm assuming this is probably for the gray. And then I also got in the mint green. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, no, okay. This first one was supposed to be purple. You you can't tell. I think this one's supposed to be the purple. And then I got this one, which is supposed to be the gray. You can't, you really can't tell. But I got these boxes. I do have like loose stickers that I feel like I could fit in these, but like my sticker sheets won't. So whatever doesn't fit in these are, I'll probably, I'll probably use the other boxes for pins because I always have pins on me because again, I'm obsessed. Speaking of pins, so I walked in there, you know, they had their back to school section out and I had seen someone else. It may have been, it may have been Marie from Crafty Girl. I think she hauled these, but they had the zebra brand. They had pins out for them. So in my store, they had them all. They had a set of gel pins, ballpoint pins, and fine tip pins. And I initially had every pin in my basket every pin but then i realized they're a dollar 25 each and i was like i i can't i can't buy it was like 18 18 pins so it was more than 18 dollars because you know a dollar 25 now so i was like okay i can't get all of them so i ended up only getting the gel pins and i got one fine tip i think is it fine tip or felt tip fine liner fine liner pin so fine line um so this is what the fine liner looks like here and i just got it in black because you know for outlining stuff in your journal you just need black you, you can't go wrong with a black pen so i got that in black and then i got every color that they had in the gel pen um, so if you guys know, like, um, if you guys watch any journaling videos, the Zebra Mildliner highlighters are really popular in the journaling community, and I have all of those, and so I ended up picking up some of their, their pens now. Um, so they have a pink, just focus on the pen and not me, focus. They have pink, red, I guess you don't really need to focus, it's a pen, red, purple, Got purple, green, of course, blue, and black. So I got, again, all of the gel pen options and all of the other ones. So all the fine liners and the ballpoint pens, it's all of these colors. So they have all six of these colors in every set of those. So if you want all of them, Go see if your store has them. My store literally had all of them, but I, I held back. I held back. I could have bought them all. I might go back, but I'm telling myself I don't need them, so I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to go back. We're not going back. We don't need them. We don't need them. Okay, and to finish off this haul, I feel like it's getting long. I wanted to show you guys all the stickers that I picked up. I literally have a box of stickers. Like, I love stickers. I've been collecting stickers for years, and Dollar Tree has a really good option on stickers. I know a lot of people buy, like, I also buy from Etsy. I love buying stuff from Etsy from small shops, but Dollar Tree is a very good option if you, like, want to get started and you don't want to spend a lot of money. Go check out your Dollar Tree. See what they have. They have, like, all kinds of themes all kinds of stuff literally anything you can think of they probably have there so let me show you the stickers that I picked up 
I picked up a lot. I picked up a lot. Okay. Um, I picked up this set here. It's just a set of alphabets, the letters, different colors, super cute colors. I think these are really cute. And these are cute, like summer colors. I really like those. And you get a nice variety of each letter. So I got those. I'm also a bit of a Disney adult, so I picked up some Disney stickers, and this set is all the Disney princesses, and I love this set because it has all of the princesses, like, my girls. These are my girls, okay? We got Tiana, we got Pocahontas, we got Moana, we got Mulan. Wait, is Merida on here? Because she's my favorite. Oh, they got Rapunzel. All right, we have everybody but Merida. Merida's my favorite, I love her, I love her. I saw her at Disney and she waved at me. Y'all, I love Merida. She's the only one missing, but they got everybody else, so I'll take that. But it's just this set, and it's like a three, three sheet thing, a sticker, so got that. Okay, these next two sets, these kind of remind me of when I was a teacher, like these are like stickers you give out as a teacher. Um, but it's this set of butterflies, they're all like metallic, and there's like so many of them. They're like just the different colors, it's like a rainbow color. Uh, but I love that they're metallic, super shiny. And then I also got that same set in stars, so I got those. And these are just like, these are easy to just like, you know, you need just an empty spot, you need something to put there, just put a star, or put a butterfly. Super cute. Um, I also picked up these. These are technically, they're called poster letter stickers, um, but I got these because they're like big alphabet stickers and I feel like you can use them for whatever. Um, so I got these here and it's like, uh, like a glittery silver. I, I couldn't think of the word. It's like a glittery silver and so it's just the alphabet there. And then I also got them in this red. And this one is like, it looks like sprinkle kind of, kind of design on it, I guess. The little specks look like sprinkles. So I got those. And then I also found this one that kind of matches those bags that I got. It's like rainbow color and they're like, it's like circles and triangles on it. If you guys can see. There you go. But yeah, got those. Then I found this set here, and this is like a crystal set. It's like crystals and like dream catchers, and I just love the colors of these stickers. I just thought this, this set was so pretty, and it's double-sided, so. Oh, I love these, I love these colors, they're so pretty. I'm, lo I'm looking at it right there. Okay, and the last ones I got, I, I'm really like into like astronomy and astrology and stuff like that and anything that has like stars and galaxies, what, whatever, all that kind of stuff, I pick it up. So I found these. So this set here is actually the zodiac signs. So I picked that up. Part of me wants to be like, this is such a Virgo thing to buy this because I'm a Virgo. Um, but yeah, I got these. And then this one here, these are just, I guess they're like, I don't know, the like description said astrology stickers, but they're like the galaxy with like different symbols on them. I don't know, I just thought they were cute. Let me focus. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for the glare. But yeah, I picked those up and I like this set so much, I bought two of them, so I got that. Okay, so that is everything that I picked up from Dollar Tree. It's so much stuff. It really, I didn't realize how much it was until I sat down to film this. But I will use all of this. I promise I will. I love the stickers. I'm going to start journaling. I don't know if I will do any journaling videos on this channel. If you guys want to see any, let me know down below. I may do some on my second channel. If you guys don't know, I do also have a booktube channel where I talk about books. I haven't, I haven't uploaded in a while, but I still have the channel. I, I will upload soon. Um, but I may do some like some reading journal videos on there. I don't know, but if you guys want to see some journaling videos, please let me know down below. Let me know if you guys have seen any of the, this stuff in your stores. Hopefully, the next time I go in Dollar Tree, I might find some Halloween stuff because I've been seeing people in their videos. I haven't seen any Halloween in my stores yet, but I am looking, so you guys might see some Halloween stuff from me soon. I don't know. We'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.